Before I show you how to build it, I am going to explain how it works and why it is better than the other design people are using. And if you don't care about that, there are timestamps in the description if you want to check out the farm, so enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to try my best to explain it, but I'm not that good at it, so sorry about that. So, I'm going to be using a creeper minion to demonstrate, so every 14 seconds, he's going to either spawn a creeper or kill a creeper. And we don't want him to kill the creepers because that takes up time. Now, what we're going to do is every time he spawns a creeper, we are going to kill it ourselves. But instead of killing it with our sword, we're going to be using other methods. And yeah, this farm is just really the most compact way to do it. So yeah, this is the fall trap design I was talking about. It's pretty much just an eyesore if you have it on your island. But it does pretty much work the same. But my design fits in like a 9x7. And it looks way cleaner, so... And just a heads up, these farms only double the efficiency whenever you're active on your island, so if you're offline, the, the minions will work as normal, but you have to be on your island to actually make them double the speed. So if you go in an AFK pool, this works, it's not bannable, so uh, yeah, enjoy. Alright, we're going to start this out by going 9 blocks across, and then from that block, go 6 back. And go over here, break this block, and this is where the storage is going to be. I definitely would recommend more storage than this. This is just for show. So yeah, make this array of hoppers, and then just fill in the stone. So you have a 9x7 platform. And next we're going to need a wall that is 6 blocks tall. Now I'm using glass because... I want to see the farm working, but you can really use whatever block you want. Alright, so from the chest, you need to go up 5 blocks with hoppers. Go in 4 blocks back, and then just fill that in with hoppers. And then we need to place more glass so that the items flow up to the hoppers whenever they like glitch inside of the block. So we're going to add more walls here. It's really important that you double layer it, because if you don't, some of the items will fly out and pretty much make this farm useless. Add these blocks so that the water doesn't flow out, and then we're going to place signs here so that the water doesn't flow down. And I don't even have water on me. Alright, now that I've got water, we need to make this all source blocks. If it's not all source blocks, then the water will just push the mobs down, and they'll just really get stuck. And then we have the water that's flowing into the farm. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to put a door here to get in and out. This design, being 3 blocks wide, can hold 18 minions, and you can place them in the water right here, any of these 6 places. The 6 air gaps above it, and the 6 above that as well. And if you go any higher, they'll spawn on top of the hoppers, so don't go that far up. Now, I'm going to place a minion just to like show you how it works. So what the minion will do is he will spawn a pig, and the pig will just ride on up and get, go up in the water. 
he will drown and drop his stuff and sometimes it'll go up top sometimes it'll fall down but anyway it will go into this chest and you basically get free loot if for some reason you need more than 18 minion slots you can basically just copy this row and keep adding on to it all right so i'm going to be using the farm i built a couple minutes ago and i'm just going to edit it a little bit because for some reason the chickens don't swim high enough so i'm going to take up the chicken minion kill these dudes and basically all we have to do put three fences right here and then if we break this sign, it'll break all those three. And we put one water source there, one there, so that these are all infinite water sources. And if I put this back, the chicken should swim all the way up and start drowning. I wouldn't really recommend this edit to any other animal. I would just keep it pretty much strictly for the chickens because items can drop on these fences and you lose a little bit of efficiency with that. Now, it doesn't happen often, but I have seen it happen. Alright, so the gas farm is going to start out with a 7x7 platform. I'm going to add the chest right here. And I'm going to have 9 hoppers in the very middle of the 7x7. Next, we need to go up three blocks with glass while double layering the walls. And I am going to add a door here just because I want to get in and out easy. And next we need a 7x7x3 seven by seven by of any solid block, so it can't be like glass or anything. And this is the complete farm. This gas farm uses suffocation to kill them. And if we come over here, this actually holds 27 minions. Uh, so nine on the very bottom, nine in the air spaces right here, and then nine on the roof. Before I show you how to build this farm, I am going to suggest that you build this over the void. Mostly because if a slime grows up, actually th this one might do it. If he grows up, uh, he will like clip inside of this block and sometimes they will just like be able to escape because they can just jump out. Um, and if you build this over the void, when whenever they escape, they just fall down into the void and die. And that pretty much saves the farm from breaking. Because if you build it over land and a slime escapes, he'll just wander around your island. And if enough of them get out, then, this, uh, then the farm can like stop entirely. Alright, so we're going to start out by placing 5 sand like this, and then put 3 cactus on each of the sand. Next, we're going to put a chest down and put up hoppers like this. Next, we need to go three blocks back with the stone bricks. And then one on this side right here. Next, we're going to make a wall and be sure to like not place it next to the cactus or else it'll get destroyed.
build up too high on this back wall. With uh, blocks in the corners. And then take soul sand and make a 5x5 five five out of that. Put blocks around the soul sand. Next, we're going to build the wall up three high so that the slimes can't escape. Then take signs and water buckets and place the signs at the edge of the soul sand. And then place the water in the back. And then go down and place them right here. And this is the entire farm. This farm can hold 18 minions. You can put 9 of them in the water right here. And then 9 more on top of this. Thanks for watching this far in the video. If you used any of these farms, be sure to leave a like because it actually helps me out a lot. And, uh, you know, maybe subscribe. You know, I'm almost at 100k. See you, gamers.